All right. Uh, so th- they try to escape it, right? But they can't do it. They can't get away from knowing the true God. And that's why they're guilty before him. In the act of suppressing the truth, the unbeliever is in contact with the truth. So you can't push something down without touching it, pushing it, <laughs> right? Contacting right. it, right? Right. You can't suppress it without contacting it. Yes. Uh, having these moral claims that we're just saying, well, you know, l- let's think about other people here. Well, o- OK, you, you, the, you're you're coming in con- to c- contact with a, a, a thing that isn't physical, but you're still saying, uh, I, I kind of like this because uh, it, it's beneficial to me because then you won't kill me. And I'm a I'm a shorter person or I'm 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 less muscular or you have the gun and I don't. And so I want to try and convince you uh, that uh, that we should all live in a perfect harmony. Uh, until I can get my own gun and or uh, uh, go to the gym a couple times, and so <laughs> and so uh, so we're always interacting with this, even if it's not that that physical form of well, here's a bone in the dirt, and so here's evolution or creationism. Uh, no, it, it comes in contact with each of those things of 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 talking about two plus two equals four, and and again, look at what we're seeing now is well, that's just uh, colonial, uh, uh, you know. Uh, 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 mathematics. And so there may be other ways to do math. Okay, let's do that. And let's, let, let's put you on a rocket and launch you to the moon and see if you can make it with, with the new, the, with the new math. Well, why is the, why is there this standard that can't evolve math that's in the universe? Why, why is there something there that's not physical, but that uh, governs the universe? Well, it seems to, to be uh, the Christians who have a better answer than well, just random chance, and it brings about the most perfect system that continues to uh, make the bubble that's out of uh, an infinite number of bubbles in, in uh, a bigger universe possible. Uh, because then we can we can change that 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 uh, one over infinity symbol to uh, closer to infinity over infinity, which is one, and that's why we get the universe. <laughs> Uh, so what do you do when you uh, can't face your guilt? What do you do when you don't want to think of yourself as actually doing something disreputable? Well, you hide it. Sometimes you try to hide it in yourself and we hide things from ourselves by rationalizing, by saying, I had a good reason for it. We see this all the time with, with criminals who know that there's a standard, but rationalize it through, through different means. Well, I had to steal the food uh, because I have children at home. Uh, now I couldn't have gone to a food bank. I could have go- couldn't have gone to a local church. I needed the food right now. And you know, are you going to deprive me of the same thing that your kids have? No, absolutely not. And so I had a good reason for it. But for other people, that uh, that would be wicked. Uh, that store owner uh, doesn't have that food that they can sell to feed their family. So you come into conflict. So how do we determine this conflict? Both of them have a good reason for it but one of them views it as wicked and the other one uh, says he has a good reason for it. Sometimes we do our wickedness so habitually that we stop thinking self-consciously about it. We can fool ourselves, which is actually the second part of Romans one. So they, they uh, force themselves to, to, to suppress the truth so much that God gives them over to it and says, okay, you want to live apart from me so bad here, let's, let's do so. And there you get the decline and fall of the, the entire Roman Empire that conquers the, the known world. Uh, or, you know, you, you, you have these nation states that rise up through, through power of one individual and say, yes, might makes right. And that person dies and their children are less weak because they grew up in that type of environment where they had a, a, a few too many cakes and less, less training periods. And so then you have the, the fracture of those societies that, that's, that's uh, split up from there. And so exactly. we, we, we fool ourselves in, in kind of those two fashions. Right. Exactly. And so he says, that, you know, the reason why, uh, you know, they would like you to think that they are neutral is that it's one of the ways that they suppress the truth. In our lives. That's right. Well, I just, you know, let's be neutral. Right. And that's a way of suppressing the truth. In our lives. They know God, but this is one of the ways in which they don't have to face up to God. He says, oh, uh, you know, we don't think about religion and biology, biology class. We don't bring Christianity in when we're talking about literature or philosophy or whatever it may be. We're going to be neutral. So even though they know God, they're pretending they don't, he tells us. And the result of this is that they will become foolish, as Paul says, in their thinking. Right. Right. And, and again, this is this is not something that they're sticking their fingers in and saying, la, la, la. But they're coming up to things where it, it seems to go against what their ultimate belief should lead them to. 
and they're, they're taking a different approach. And what you're doing is you're pointing that out and saying, well, shouldn't you say that since all life is unfair, we should, we shouldn't care about this way. And th the only reason to follow the law is because there are other people with guns who are more powerful than you to stop you from doing that. So you shouldn't do things because they're good, but because there's enough powerful forces <laughs> behind this. And so that's, you know, Bakari and Bentham's uh, 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 cause of crime is, is to, to, to make the, the laws so uh, reflexive of punishment that you, you increase the pain for the little pleasure that offsets out of doing the crime of, of rape or murder or, or uh, theft or, you know, uh, arson or whatever it might be. And so, um, th that's, uh, that's one of the ways we can, um, kind of point that out. Uh, but the other way is to say, uh, there is a God and he made the world in a certain way and he made you in his image. And one of those ways in which you are made is reflective of all humanity so that they structure themselves in a way that seems to be, uh, uh, supportive of, of things like, uh, marriage or, uh, uh, trust and uh, fairness and uh, uh, the, the golden rule. Why is the golden rule in all these other different religions? Yes, exactly. What we, and and why, are, why are bone structures made in, in a similar fashion? You know, that's that common designer uh, uh, retort that we can make. In the chapters that follow then, uh, he's gonna say that, um, that he will teach you to exploit that foolishness so that uh, they can see the implications of their views, which we kind of, uh, hit a little bit here mm -hmm. that they know the same God you worship. They believe in rationality. They believe in science. They believe in uniformity of nature. They believe in moral absolutes. They believe in the dignity of man and they shouldn't, but why do they, they know these things, but they have no right to appeal to them. And you're going to have to take those things away from them and say, the only way you can think this way, the only way that you can justify believing in those things is by admitting the truth about God. I worship as a Christian. And so again, it's, it's that made in the image of God, it's uh, uh, knowing and then suppressing the truth and righteousness. And, and we believe that because that's what the Bible points out. And also it's what we see reflective in nature, according to our worldview. And so the, the book of scripture and the book of nature seem to pass through each other. And we see the truth is evident in both these things because, well, why are these, these universal things? What? You know, why has man for, for millennia looked up to the heavens and said, why am I here? Well, who cares? The lion doesn't do that. The, the, the bear doesn't do that. The bear, the bear cares about the, the cubs and sometimes not even about their cubs, but other people's cubs that they've adopted. Well, why is that? And so uh, th that's what we want to look at here with the next chapter talking about um, uh, looking at what is philosophy and uh, why, why is it important?